Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. We are going to learn on subtopic 2.4 uh, level of organization in multicellular organism, uh, which is from biology from 4 KSSM. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous lesson 2.3, please go and learn them because it's, uh, uh, we already talked about the cells and also tissues and the function of it. So today we are just going to go through it a little bit and then see uh, all levels of organization in multicellular organism. So don't forget to take notes. Okay, as usual, we have to go through the learning standards. So here we have the first one to make a sequence of levels, okay, of organization in multicellular organism. You have learned this in form two. If you don't remember? Eh, sorry, form one. Okay, <laughs> and then identify cells, tissue, or organs in an organ system and communicate about organ system in multicellular organism with their main function. Okay. Now, cell organization, okay, um, the cell organization we have here, we have learned this before, okay, I'm going through this with you, mm. okay, so cell is the smallest unit of life capable of carrying out all the function in living things, so cell uh, forms tissues, many cells, so a group of cells of the same type, okay, that performs specific function of an organism, that is tissue, a group of cells, okay, same type of cells. Then this tissue forms organ. How does the tissue form organ? Is that several type of tissues, several tissues forms organ, okay, which carry out a particular function. And these organs, several organs working together, okay, to perform uh, a function forms a system. And many systems, all the system that makes up the multicellular organism, they form the organism. So now these are the definition that you have to remember. So mostly question of two marks, they will ask you like, uh, what is cell, what is tissue, what is organ, what is system, what is organism? Mm. So you must know this definition. Okay. So here examples um, of cells, a group of cells that works together to form tissue. For example, we have here muscle cells, okay, um, that forms muscle tissues. Okay, and then we have um, neurons, okay, that forms nerve cells. We have epithelial cells, they form epithelial tissues, okay, connective tissues. We have, uh, you know, red blood cells, huh? many red blood cells, they form connective tissues, uh, and so on. So, these are examples. Then, um, so different tissues, they work together to form an organ. So, for example, uh, muscle and uh, nerve, they form uh, stomach, which is organ. Okay, um, epithelium tissues and also cartilage, they form a trachea, also an organ, okay, in the respiratory system. And then uh, intestine also form through uh, epithelium tissue and also muscle tissues. And the lungs is formed from epithelium and also connective. These are some of the examples. It shows that the different tissues, they work together to form an organ. And lastly, uh, not lastly, second last, uh, several organs, they work together to form an organ system. Okay, so for example, stomach and intestine, which are, which are organs, they form digestive system. But there are, of course, there are many other organs that is in the digestive system. And then, uh, for example, trachea, lungs, they form respiratory system. So there are many organs, there are many systems in our body. Okay, and so... Um, various organ systems, they work together to make up an organism. For example, we have so many systems, right? Like um, uh, excretory system, digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, all this system, okay, they work together to make us an organism who is well-functioning. If one of the system is damaged, is spoiled, then the whole, you know, working together doesn't work anymore. All right, so now we are going to look at what are all these systems that is present in our body that makes us an organism, okay? Now, the first one is the endocrine system, okay? Um, the endocrine gland that secretes hormones. So, this one, this endocrine system, it coordinates body activities with the nervous system. So, you are going to look at this endocrine system further uh, in chapter, chapter 12, maybe chapter 12, 13, around that. Okay, respiratory system, okay, which consists of trachea, nose, lungs, and diaphragm, 
okay exchange a function is to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide between the body and also the internal uh, external environment basically involves in uh, respiration okay then we have the muscular system which consists of skeletal muscles smooth muscles and cardiac muscles you have seen this in uh, subtopic 2.3 Okay, and a uh, function is to contract and relax to produce movement in different parts of the body. All right, and then we have reproductive system, which consists of uh, testes, prostate gland, penis, uh, ovary, uterus, fallopian tube, vagina, and also cervix. So all these uh, function of uh, male and female is that uh, for uh, male reproductive system, it produces sperm and also male uh, male sex hormones. Whereas for the female one, it produces ovum and also the female sex hormones. Okay, so this one also you will see in chapter 15 um, later on. Then we have the lymphatic system. Lymphatic system consists of spleen, lymph nodes and also lymph vessels. And the main function is to maintain the balance of bodily fluids. Our fluid body is made up of fluid. So uh, this lymphatic system balances it up and prevents infectious diseases how we will learn in chapter 12 then we also have nervous system okay which involves the brain spinal cord at the back and also the peripheral nerves which uh, functions to detect and send information in the body as well as coordinate body activities we have the blood circulatory system which consists of the heart artery vein blood capillaries okay so all this is to transport nutrients um, respiratory gases and also waste product throughout our body so this one you will see further in chapter 10 we have digestive system okay uh, which consists of mouth esophagus stomach liver pancreas small intestine and also large intestine so digestive system of course for digestion Okay, digestion of complex food into simpler food for easy absorption in the body. And urinary system is for uh, to eliminate the waste products such as urea, uric acid uh, from the body to remove all the waste. Okay, it consists of kidney, ureter, urethra, and also bladder. And then we have skeletal system which consists of bone, cartilage, ligament and also tendon. You will see this in chapter 14 which supports the body, protects the internal organ and provides the base for muscle addition. Just imagine if you don't have skeletons. And then lastly, if I'm not mistaken, this is the last one. Um, the integumentary system which is the skin. Integumentary. Many students forget this. Skin comes under what system the whole skin the largest organ in your body okay consists of one system which is known as integumentary system okay so this one function is to protect the body from physical injury infection and also dehydration oh i was right yeah okay now uh let's look at plant system so like humans we have like about 11 systems there um for plant also they have systems they have the shoot system and also the root system okay the stems the leaves the shoots okay flowers and fruits are considered as part of the shoot system okay stems and twigs are support systems they support the leaves at a vertical position to allow maximum absorption of sunlight during photosynthesis and flowers of course they are involved in pollination process more towards the reproduction and then we have the root system, which consists of roots, uh, tap roots, lateral roots, depending. Okay, in a plant that functions to absorb water, mineral salt, and also it actually helps uh, to support the plant. Okay. Ah, see, we are done. Okay, that's all for today. Um, you have learned all the system here. So, um, you, I'm, I'm sure that you can do... Uh, formative practice 2.4 please do that and um, yeah the uh, answers will be given in the description box below uh, make sure you do this and then you check your answers so you know roughly what you have learned in this lesson um, yeah and do let me know uh, if this helps thank you and with that we are done with our lesson today I hope you uh, learned something okay and uh, yeah bye bye <laughs> Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Huh? <laughs>